from Umami Burger in Santa Monica. I just ordered their signature Umami Burger. That should be out in a minute. But first, our spotlight tonight is on the man behind the cult classic Reanimator, which if you haven't seen it, is a sci-fi classic about a uh, scientist who figures out how to bring people back from death. 26 years later, the cult classic has still such a following that the uh, creator, Stuart Gordon, decided to do what you would probably think you would do in a situation like that, make a musical. It's our spotlight tonight. Most of us walk around half asleep. I love to kind of wake people up. My name's Stuart Gordon. I'm the director of the film Reanimator. And in a couple of days, we're gonna be opening Reanimator the Musical. The story of Reanimator is about a young medical student named Herbert West who discovers a serum that can bring the dead back to life. Unfortunately, the dead aren't too happy to be brought back. And so the results are disastrous. What, what happened here? Hill took my serum, my notes, everything. Herbert, you're insane. Now what happened here? I had to kill him. He's dead? Not anymore. The story was written by H.P. Lovecraft in 1922. It was called Herbert West Reanimator. For years, that story had vanished, and uh, I was able to get a copy of it at the Chicago Public Library. And when I got home and read the stories, I realized that this was the basis for something that could be a fantastic movie. Someone once came up to me and said, have you ever thought of turning this into a musical? And I thought that was the craziest idea I'd ever heard in my life. It's like, how do you do a musical where one of the characters is walking around carrying his head in his hands? It seemed impossible, I just kind of dismissed it. But about three years ago, I had this vision where I could see how you could do the whole thing. I give life, I give the <laughs> To come at the project again in a whole different way, you know, to look at it and to re-envision it as a musical for the stage, that was something that I found really challenging. The idea of people breaking into song uh, is wonderful, and Reanimator has a kind of uh, larger-than-life feel to it. I have the most fun when I'm a zombie, frankly. There's very little pressure to remember my lines. <laughs> Mark Nutter and I, the, the composer, have been working on it for three years now. In, in some ways, it's almost like an opera. There's so much music in this show. I think there's less than five minutes where the, they're speaking. Uh, the rest of it, it's all song. The Sanctum Sanctoris, the Steve Allen Theater. This little theater is where it all happens. These first two rows we're designating as the splash zone. These are where the poor souls sit that end up covered in blood by the end of the show. I really love to shock people. Reanimator as a film and the musical both accomplish that. It's, it goes places that you're not expecting. I think everybody likes to be surprised. Hello. I think you're next. I got a monster in my closet. That was Stuart Gordon. If you want to check out Reanimator the Musical, go to reanimatorthemusical.com for more.